and welcome back I'm going to quickly show you how to replicate a website in other words duplicate a website or should we say steal a website but it's not really stealing if it's for educational purposes let's go to a quick website uh, let's see let's go to well it has to be purely HTML oriented um, I'm gonna go to dynamic drive for example let's look at dynamic drive here is dynamic drive website dynamic drive is a popular website for scripts uh, dynamic HTML scripts CGI scripts uh, CSS effects and much more uh, let's make a quick duplicate of this website using Internet Explorer 7 we can go to uh, page save as <clears throat> and from the bottom we're gonna choose to save as complete web page in our desktop, we'll make a new folder. We'll call this folder uh, copy dynamic drive dot com. And we're going to save the main page. We're going to name it index dot html. Notice everything is saving, all the images, uh, pretty much all the content. And check this out. We have index files and we have index, the page itself. Let's take a look at what index looks like. Uh, let's open it with Internet Explorer. And guess what? It looks just like the website. And it's on our computer. Now, believe it or not, I can actually right-click this page, choose it to uh, edit in Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver is our best friend. Uh, and we can begin actually modding this page. And we can make this page look like any page that we want. Uh, let's say we want to have a page similar to Dynamic Drive. Uh, we want the layout. We don't know how to make it exactly, but it already exists, so why not just copy it and alter it? Uh, this doesn't necessarily... Uh, it's not really bad a bad thing to do. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of designers do this. Uh, a lot of designers that are pretty much lazy. <clears throat> Notice that Dreamweaver opens up and we look at the code and it's the same exact code. Let's look at design view. Check this out. We can actually change the stuff. Uh, calendars. Let's change it to uh, our stuff. And take a look. We just modded it. Now, if I save this page, <clears throat> after we change it, obviously, and any designer knows that once you save and refresh, you'll notice that calendars here just change to our stuff. And notice we have an exact replicate of a website. Uh, and that, my friend, is how we make website replicates. Uh, duplicates should I say this works with any website uh, as long as it's not flash based flash based websites will not get copied some of them do but uh, they rarely work well if it's CSS and HTML based you're good to go you'll have the website copied and you'll have all the resources for the website the logos the images uh, the CSS file the add CSS pretty much everything and uh, it's a useful way to actually take an existing website you like and uh, learn the, you know, the tricks of how to make the layout work. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, check out some more. Yeah. After I get some coffee, I'll make more. Thanks for watching.